Hey, what's going on guys? It's Butterboy here. So in today's video, I'm taking up another community challenge, which is from Jaredu. Jaredu put out this community challenge of the Rambo challenge. Now pretty much the Rambo challenge, all it consisted of was you were shooting from the hip with the, <laughs> with the Spitfire. And it might sound simple enough, but oh my god, it is the most dreadful thing that you will ever do in this game. So in order to complete this challenge, you have to do a couple of things. So first, you have to use the Spitfire. The Spitfire is the key thing to this gun, or to this challenge, because we're trying to play the, you know, the action role of the old 80 movies with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone, with Rambo or Commando, any of those movies where, you know, the action hero is shooting from the hip and he's just completely accurate with everything that he's shooting off. He never misses a shot and the enemy can never kid him. Well, I gotta tell you what, at least for right now, that is not real life whatsoever, especially not in this game. So, you're gonna be running around with the Spitfire, and you're gonna be shooting that gun from the hip. Um, it's definitely difficult to, to do, especially at long ranges, so the one thing I'm gonna try to uh, encourage the most throughout this video is just trying to close in on the enemy and try to get as close as you possibly can. Um, for perks that are actually gonna be run on the weapon, I would definitely suggest to use Tactical in order to get your your ability, whatever ability you choose to use, um, in order to get that back quicker, but also you need to be running Gun Runner. The, the key thing about Gun Runner is, you know, depending on what ability you use, I use Stim. So Stim helps me out a lot being able to close in on the enemy and get as close as I possibly can to them. Well, getting that tactic kill and having that gun runner, one, I'm, I'm getting my ability much quicker with tactic kill. You know, getting, a, you know, one or two kills, you know, speeds up the regen of getting my ability to stem again. And then two, gun runner is amplifying the ability to actually shoot while I'm moving. So when I'm stemming up and I'm going, you know, really, really fast and people can't, you know, keep track of me, I'm shooting from the hip at the same time. So it definitely helps out a lot being able to combine those two and not having you know too terrible of a problem being able to close in on the enemy and once I get as close as I possibly can opening fire and actually shooting and killing the enemy. So the one thing that you're gonna see with the Spitfire uh, kinda like there that's a good example I'm able to close in on the enemy so the one thing that I'm gonna tell you right now is the bloom of the uh, the crosshairs for the Spitfire shooting from the hip it's gonna bloom really really bad um, it's nothing like the uh, the the shooting from the hip with the R97 or the car or anything like that because uh, with those guns those those are submachine guns and, and when you shoot them from the hip it, the crosshairs don't really bloom uh, as long as you have it on the target and you're and you're following through you're able to kill the target pretty quickly with this not so much the case uh, I would definitely suggest anybody that's trying this challenge you're trying to get as close as you possibly can to the enemy because that bloom is going to make it extremely hard to hit targets from very far away and there's a couple examples where I'm trying to take targets on from distances that I definitely should not be taking um, the time to actually shoot at these people but uh, I try nonetheless and it definitely doesn't work out for me so the main thing that I've actually kind of found you know found a lot easier to do is just trying to close in on me stem definitely helps me out a lot but also too the one thing that helped me out a lot was using amped weapons Amped weapons definitely decreases how many shots it takes to actually kill someone. So having that, have, have you know, having amped weapons to to help uh, increase the damage that you get, that you deal with with the Spitfire, but also to being able to enclose in on the enemy and get as close as you can, uh, definitely helps out a lot. <laughs> And you are going to run into some moments where you are going to be outgunned and it's just going to be almost pure luck that you are able to actually win the fight sometimes. At least that's kind of my perspective of, you know, when I was playing this game, it was just the encounters I had were just lucky. I don't know. I, I didn't really count it on pure skill because you have no idea with the, cro with the way the crosshairs work. You have no idea where the bullets are going and you just have to go on the pure luckness of these rounds actually hitting the target. So I have to say, out of all of the community challenges that I've actually completed with, you know, between Tony Mo, uh, Jiradu, anybody else that issues out these challenges, or maybe ideas that I actually just come up with myself by myself, I have to say that this challenge is probably one of the hardest challenges that I've done. I definitely did not expect, you know, shooting from the hip with a Spitfire. One, I, I don't recall ever doing it. I'm always shooting down. Uh, do, shooting down the sights, uh, but I definitely did not think it was going to be this hard, and I was just kind of blown away of how difficult it was. One to just kind of get, uh, you know, a, a set of gameplay that I was very happy to show off. 
Um, to, and just trying to get it. It was definitely a difficult thing. I think the only reason why I was able to do so well in this video was just because I was able to play with a group of friends that knew what they were doing. Uh, and they weren't just mindless people just running the same, you know, direction that <laughs> kind of the randoms do. And uh, it definitely helped me out quite a bit. So anybody that's going to be doing this challenge, I definitely recommend do it with a team. Do it with a group of people that um, can give you call outs, can let you know, you know, where the enemy is spawning at. And it def just will help you out tremendously getting the great gameplay that you're going to be wanting to see with this challenge. And, and when you post it, when you post this challenge... Um, and doing it, you're going to have you know a bigger bigger KD than I did. Um, and you're going to be just more successful when trying to complete the challenge. So I definitely have to thank Jared Dude for issuing out this challenge. Because this is, I mean, like I said, it's a very difficult one. It's one of the difficult ones that, I, that I've done. It beats out the grappling challenge. And I've definitely been trying to use even phase shift more often. Trying to learn that from, you know, the other side of perspective. I always complain about people using phase shift. And I'm trying to use that. So... Anything, any community challenge, any way that I can play differently to increase, you know, the way that I play, the you know, increase the, you know, the best ways that I can, you know, play and achieve this game, um, is I, I'm more than welcome to it. I'm so happy that we have a community of people that issue out these challenges, and I am more than happy to do them just to one test my ability and two just get to be get better at the game. You know, um, there's not a whole lot of variety, um, you know, as a custom games so much. Uh, in Titanfall 2, and and that's basically off of the developers. They know they want to leave you know the game types that they have right now. But I'm happy that we can kind of create our own as a community and kind of test ourselves and just kind of see where we're at in the game. So this was a fun thing. I'm I'm happy that I got to do it. So continue to issue out these challenges. They are definitely a fun thing to do, and I recommend a lot of people to do these challenges. One to test yourself where you're at in Titanfall 2, but also just to have a lot of fun and play a way that you normally don't do. Well, hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video was definitely took me a while to actually get and make. Um, so I'm happy to finally give it to you guys. If you did, like the video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe, and never miss another, another uh, video that I make of Titanfall 2. Um, and I want to issue out, uh, you know, bring all the challenges possible. I love doing them. I love doing these community challenges. So if anybody has another recommendation for a challenge th that they want to see done, let me know down in the comments below what challenges you guys have. But I hope you guys have a great rest of the day, and I will see you next time.